This video you're about to see gives an insight into some of the medical services that are provided by aviation in Australia. The aircraft that are used here save people's lives every day and recently I became a part of that system where I needed to be transported. Part of this video is my personal experience with these services. I hope you enjoy the video and I apologise for some of the quality. It was filmed on the fly in a real life situation and all I had was my mobile phone as I'm using now. I was recently aero medical evacuated from my hometown to this hospital that I'm currently at now. This video takes a look at three aircraft that are used in Australia, not the only three, but just three of them that um, use for emergency rescue and uh, evacuation such as mine to hospitals for emergency treatment and the like. So enjoy the video and I hope you uh, can really see how important these services are in a system of uh, great distances across Australia with minimal populations around the place. So um, anyway, I'm currently still in the hospital waiting to go home. Not sure how I'm doing that just yet. Um, this is a fairly nice large hospital, very modern, a couple of years old actually. Um, okay, that's it. Have a look at the video. It's quite interesting. There's a lot to it. Australia is a very big place and most of it is not populated. Oh, good morning. I've been told I might be being transferred back to my hometown hospital today. Today I'm going home and I'm being flown home and I'm not sure which aircraft yet but it looks like, uh, well it'll probably be RFDS um, and we're going to start this video with the wind, sorry, the west wind jet is our first aircraft involved in aeromedical um, retrieval um, based in the South Pacific, well based in Maryborough, but flying in the South Pacific for the Australian area and, and the islands around the place. Unless you are flight crew, these aircraft are a few that you would hope to never find yourself in. If you do, you must be suffering from some sort of serious medical crisis. Your very own life may depend on this type of aviation. First we'll take a look at in-flight ER Westwind 2 jet. This is a very unusual machine, especially for our region. A capable, long-range, high-speed jet has been configured for the sole purpose of emergency medical retrieval of patients in the Australasian and Asian Pacific areas for urgent medical intervention. It went into in-flight ER service in October 2019. In-flight ER are a private aeromedical charter organisation and are quoted to say the exceptional strength of the Westwind 2 airframe has allowed us to create a custom-made and industry-leading dual bariatric stretcher capability featuring no lift loading technology with both the stretcher and base safely supporting a patient weight of up to 230 kilograms. This ability is unique in our region. 
the stretcher system can also accommodate dual neonatal humidity cribs. A recent episode includes the full look around, discussion, in cockpit startup and taxi video for you to see more of this aircraft in operation. If not already published, it won't be far away. So I've made it to the ambulance. We're on the way to the airport now to be um, transported by aircraft to Harvey Bay. I think it'll probably be the Super King Air 200 that I was in the other day. Um, and But before we see that, let's have a look at the next aircraft, which is the rescue helicopter and how functional it is in the role of medical retrieval and rescue in Queensland.